The following film is the video portion of an E64 lesson. E64 is the computerized curriculum designed for home schools, Christian schools, family worship, Sunday schools, and church Bible study groups. For more information, visit the website at www.e6-4.com. Now Moses was keeping the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the back of the wilderness and came to God's mountain, to Horeb. The angel of Yahweh appeared to him in a flame of fire out of the midst of the bush. He looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. Moses said, I will turn aside now and see this great sight, why the bush is not burnt. When Yahweh saw that he turned aside to see, God called him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. He said, Here I am. He said, Don't come close. Take your sandals off of your feet, for the place you are standing on is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. Yahweh said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people who are in Egypt, and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of that land to a good and large land, to a land flowing with milk and honey to the place of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Amorite, the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Jebusite. Now behold, the cry of the children of Israel has come to me. Moreover, I have seen the oppression with which the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now, therefore, and I will send you to Pharaoh, that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh, and that I should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? He said, Certainly I will be with you. This will be the token to you that I have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God on this mountain. Moses said to God, Behold, when I come to the children of Israel and tell them the God of your fathers has sent me to you, and they ask me what is his name, what should I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, You shall tell the children of Israel this, I am has sent me to you. God said moreover to Moses, You shall tell the children of Israel this, Yahweh, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial to all generations. Go and gather the elders of Israel together and tell them, Yahweh, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob has appeared to me, saying, I have surely visited you and seen that which is done to you in Egypt. And I have said, I will bring you up out of the affliction of Egypt to the land of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Amorite, the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Jebusite, to a land flowing with milk and honey. They will listen to your voice, and you shall come, you and the elders of Israel, to the king of Egypt, and you shall tell him, Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews, has met with us. Now please let us go three days' journey into the wilderness, that we may sacrifice to Yahweh our God. I know that the king of Egypt won't give you permission to go, no, not by a mighty hand. I will reach out my hand and strike Egypt with all my wonders which I will do in its midst, and after that he will let you go. I will give this people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, and it will happen that when you go you shall not go empty-handed. But every woman shall ask of her neighbor, and of her who visits her house, jewels of silver, jewels of gold, and clothing. You shall put them on your sons and on your daughters. You shall plunder the Egyptians. The film you have just watched is the video portion of an E64 lesson. E64 is the software curriculum that provides education with a strong biblical worldview. Be sure to visit the website at www.e6-4.com and sign up for our newsletter to stay informed about new lessons available or special events. One of the many features of E64 is the student directed learning mode where the student is free to choose from dozens of lessons in over 20 categories, including math, reading, history, science, and the Bible. Another feature is the father-directed learning mode, where a father or classroom teacher can create an individualized lesson plan for each student, and the software will teach the student one section at a time, keeping records of his progress. A third feature is the family worship mode, which is ideal for family worship, school chapel services, family Sunday school classes, or church Bible study groups. Once you set up your lesson plan, this mode offers instruction and catechism, one lesson section at a time.
reminds you to do prayer, thanksgiving and praise, Bible memorization, and includes a complete music section with songs and hymns for worship. Each song can be played with or without the vocals. Another E64 feature is the competition mode, where you create a lesson plan and the program randomly selects question sets from the lessons to create a fun and exciting competition, which can be as small as the competition our family does every day in our daily family worship, to as large as the Southeast Bible competition we conducted with multiple rounds and prizes, including a new laptop computer and tickets to a major theme park. Another feature is Apples of Gold, a computerized parlor game for more advanced students, where two clue givers devise clues to help their teams come up with a phrase from the Bible. To purchase the E64 software, visit the website at www.e6-4.com. To schedule the Homeschool Advantage, to come to your church or homeschool conference, and teach your people how to use computer software to build strong biblical households, contact Captain Brett at 678-570-2195 or email terabenth at inbox.com.